This video will instruct the iJig seating appointment. The records needed are the iJig prosthetic, looting material such as Stellar DC, uh, GC pattern resin, Duralay, or similar, some type of non shrinking material to loot the sections together, uh, bite registration material, and then uh, polyvinyl, siloxane, PVS, uh, either medium or heavy, depending on the gap between the prosthetic and the tissue. Okay, let's get started. Today is an eye jig appointment, and it's not just an eye jig appointment, it's a eye jig with a sight to pick up a temporary cylinder for an implant that was added after surgery. All right, we are doing an eye jig. First step is to remove the patient's existing prosthetic. All right, remove the screws. These are just hand tightened. Nice. Okay, that's three multi-unit abutments and one healing collar. And on the back left, patient's right, we're going to pick up that site in a new temporary cylinder. What I would suggest is putting a little tray adhesive on the intaglio of it because we're going to do a reline impression. We right. want the impression material to adhere. Applying some tray adhesive just to the intaglio for the reline. Then there you go. Got it. There you go. All right, the eye jig is in three oh, sections. Uh huh. It's a little. All right. Screw one yeah. section at a time. Hmm. Before we put them together, do we work the bite in or no? All right, so you're hand tightening them now. Okay, <clears throat> so all the screws are in. The next step is to remove the um, the delivery um, suck down. There we go. Very nice. And then what we want to do is take some dental floss and go in between each section to make sure that they're not contacting. Wow, you guys are you guys are a team. You guys just started working together last week? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? I don't even remember her name yet. <laughs> okay, so if they were not passive, it would be very important to adjust between each section to make sure that there is no contact. Yeah. Okay, what yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. so a section would come out of the mouth for adjustment if, if you needed to make space. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, just going to squirt the, um, express the stellar material in the labial ports between the sections. Very nice. All right, so that's the cylinder we're going to pick up. So I'm not sure that my driver is long enough to get to the bottom here. You need a longer one? <laughs> we have a longer driver. There's contact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That can't always yeah. distinguish between. It just fall off, so I felt yeah. it as soon as I picked it up. Mm -hmm. Does it move too much? Do you need to have that seating chick on there? Okay. Yeah. So the whole that the piece is always rotating. One of the tricks is to make sure where they are meeting is that they're kind of squared off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like that. You can mm -hmm. see they're kind of squared off in the interior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's the right spot. Okay. All right. All the temporary cylinders are down. Blue plug uh, turned red. How'd you turn that red again? 
Christmas. Uh, it's a Christmas plug. Okay, so now we're picking up or tacking to the uh, the new temporary cylinder using a uh, stellar dual cure acrylic. A plug for the company. Mm -hmm. Time sixty seconds. It's a it's a two minute self yes. okay. seat. A six second tack and a twenty second full light cure. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. That's you, can e you can even push it with your um, glove if you want to hold it, you know, and then just keep expressing it in. Mm -hmm. Since we're going to do a little bit of equilibration, we want to try to keep it off the occlusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. You want to tack it. Six All right, tack, they're all and then tacked in. To go. We'll do a full light cure. That's actually, actually the reason we switched to this material. The other was a self cure, two minutes, and uh -huh. you're always waiting. And right. I didn't get that all the way around in the mesial. Like, yeah, but that's okay. If you have three quarters of it, I got it with more than three fourths. Yeah, that's so good. Don't need any more than that. down, <laughs> hold, <laughs> that's it, perfect. See, we, we always recommend taking two bites like this, and then when you're visually looking at the teeth, you see the uppers and lowers coming together. Too often it's a full arch bite covering all the teeth. Mm -hmm. Can't see how they come together. I will need... I assume I want to get that pretty full under there. Hold. Okay. All right, Futar Fast, Kettenbach, and uh, the Panacell from Kettenbach is what we use today for the bite and the reline impression. I couldn't, couldn't tell. All right, so now we remove the eye jig there with the go. reline impression. There we go. Yeah, I need a pad. I just... You want a pad? Pop the screws out. So I didn't get it all over here very well. It's on her left side, and it, it was pretty intimate contact with the tissue already. The screws are... How's it look? Good? Just how it's supposed to. Very nice. Okay. It is important that all the steps are carefully followed. When the iJig is returned, on the work authorization, please order a printed try-in, or in some cases, if the iJig was very, very close to the final, you can order the final restoration. Thank you very much for watching this video.